Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this particular video, we will actually look into another use case or uh, maybe an advanced use case of uh, uh, Drozer, right? And we will try to uh, uh, find a vulnerability uh, in a particular app, right? So let's get started. So we are going to look into an app called as the CSIP app, right? Um, it's already installed here. Maybe let me uninstall this and uh, install it again so that so that I can show you how it's done. I can uninstall this. So I'd already installed it before, right? Cool. Let me install it again. So let me go down to uh, the place where I have this vulnerable apps. Right. So the app name is basically C simple C -SIP simple APK, right? So let's do a ADB install. There you go. The app got installed. Great. Let me go down to the app now. And uh, this is how it shows up. Okay. Save. So, what we'll do here is let's go down to the settings. Let me go back. Let me go down to the settings. Let me go down to the filters and maybe add some filters, right? So, let's say it starts with, I don't know, maybe. Let's put force, right? Save this. Probably add one more filter, right? Another filter which will say starts with five, right? And save. Great. So I've added like two filters. It's basically a simple app, probably for you know blocking the um, caller IDs, right? If the numbers are starting with fours and fives and something like that, right? So uh, I have added some data. The whole idea here is that you know the whole idea which I want to portray is that I've added some data into this app. Now, uh, ideally, that no one should be able to access that data, you know, outside the app, right? So, and a third party app should not be able to access that particular data, which I've added in this C simple app, right? That should be the ideal way. Um, now, let's see, can we do this? Can, can we actually access this data outside, right? So, let's see, let's go back to browser. So, let's go to browser and uh, I think I've removed the Drozer app, so let me install it again. It be install right, so Drozer APK. So I have the Drozer app here, and uh, so I can also start my Drozer like I did in my previous tutorial. So as soon as I start Drozer, Drozer comes up. Uh, what should be the first step? I need to find the package name for the C simple. I really don't know what is the package name. So let's run the command to get the package name of C simple, right? Let's do this, give it a minute. Okay, it's coming up. It might take a minute, one sec. Okay, so I think it's up. So we have the package name, which is com dot c simple c c zip simple, right? Now let's use this uh, to run the attacking uh, attack surface module, right? So run dot sorry run app dot uh, uh, package, or uh, we need not run the this thing. Let's let's just directly run the uh, URIs, right? Let's try to find the content providers, right? So let's do that. Provider, find URI, and there you go. Okay, so we are running this. So this is going to list out all my content providers which are there in the app. Sweet. So uh, if you look at this, the filters what I had put up here were basically like the outgoing filters, right? So I had put this filters and these are basically the outgoing filters. So I assume this will be the content provider which is accessing that particular data, right? So now let's try to access data from the browser app, right? Let's let's try to attack. Let's see if we can, you know, access that data. So it's going to be app uh, dot provider, right, dot query. And we're gonna put the content provider. There you go. So it says permission denied. And the reason 
it basically tells is that the draw the the Drawser app, right? The Drawser agent which I have here. This is the Drawser agent. The third-party app is not able to access the data here because it requires some extra permissions. Now, if you clearly look here, the permissions, these permissions seem to be some custom permissions. They don't seem to be standard permissions. So, how about I go and add these permissions manually into my Drawser app and then try again, right? And if it works, then we have a serious issue, which means you know any any attacking app will be able to replicate these permissions and you know access the data of this C simple app right so uh, let's see if we can do that so what do we do where do we start uh, we will have to decompile both the apps now right so let's go back let's go back let's also uninstall this browser app because we'll have to install a new version of this so let's me uninstall this right away okay and let's go down to the list of vulnerable apps which I have. Okay. Right, so let's go down here and see simple app. So I can see C simple here. So let's uh, use APK tool um, to decompile this particular app into an output folder which is basically let's call this C simple itself right there you go I'm decompiling using APK tool and like I said we'll have to fetch the permissions from this C simple app we'll have to add these permissions onto my browser app as well so let me re, uh, decompile the browser agent right so let's do that A APK tool browse decompiling and the name of the app is browser output and let's call this uh, probably drawser underscore apk tool right so that looks good great so if you see here we have these two folders one is c simple and one is the drawser apk tool now what do we do let's actually go down to this place and let's play uh, let's this is basically my uh, santo commission right I'll have to open some text editor so I'm directly going to do it here instead of doing it on the terminal so let's go down to uh, my tools here let's go to this app and let's open the manifest file of this so if you see here uh, there are a couple of permissions which are um, you know these are the two permissions they are the two custom permissions one is the use zip and other one is the configure zip and these two permissions they have they are used here and the definitions are provided over here right these are the two permissions so let me actually pick all of this and uh, let, let pick the things which we need right for now let's just copy all of this and then delete the rest so let me take this from the c simple app go back to my uh, uh, browser browser app which i decompiled just now and go down here and edit it and basically add it over here Right, so that's what we want to do. So I'm gonna add it here. Let me remove the unwanted stuff. So I just need to have uh, uh, configure zip. I think okay, so much. Okay, so I think I probably did not copy one more. Let me do that as well. Let me open that again. I think I missed one line, which means I'll have to go down here. Let's go down here and pick this up again. Uh, which line did I miss? I think I missed this one. Let's pick this up and uh, scroll down here. Let's add it here at the top. Right? So use zip, configure zip, and let me close this. So this is my browser app now, and I've added the permissions from my the custom config, uh, the custom permissions, right? So I've added those custom permissions from my C simple app to my browser agent, right? Which is good. Great. So the next important thing which we have to do here is uh, we will have to replace this uh, uh, Android name, right? Wherever you see this Android name appearing here, we'll have to replace it with a generic application ID, else it will throw you uh, you know adb errors so let's do that let's replace this i think i've done that 
let's do it on the next line as well there is android name here so let's replace that and probably let's also do it here in the category because this also would give an error otherwise right so that is good the other only thing which we have to do is um, <coughs> the c simple app was using certain strings right uh, of this sort and these strings have to be defined in my browser app as well so let's pull the strings and let's define it let's save this this is done so in this particular app if you go to resources if you go to values if you go to strings right you will find uh, a bunch of strings which starts from here and still here so these strings they are defined in my c simple app i'll have to define them again in my browser app as well great so you go to browser you go to resources you go to values you go to strings and we go here and let's put this up here okay so there you go i have put the strings as well great so we have prepared the whole uh, um, you know um, file i would say the whole the whole uh, folder is ready now to be built so this is my browser apk tool so the whole idea is to build this back again with the required permissions and run it right so we have uh, we have everything inside this folder now let's rebuild it right so you know how to build uh, apk from a folder it's pretty simple so it's going to be just uh, uh, apk tool browser and you need to define the name of the apk it's new browser dot apk right so i built it which is pretty good now the next thing is we'll have to sign it right because any app before installing we'll have to sign it so for signing it uh, let's go here so my file is new browser apk okay, we have it there so for signing you know that i already have a key signer text which is present here i'll have to just use this with a small change so this is how you sign your file uh, sign your apk right jar signer and all these details regarding the algorithms and all of that only changes we'll have to uh, providers will have to do new browser I'm not sure exactly the name of that so what I do is uh, give me a minute so it is new browser new underscore browser all right so so let me go down here and change it to the app which I want to sign so this is how you sign so once I sign this, okay, it'll ask me for a password. Great, jar signed. Let me control A. Right, so there you go. We have uh, uh, the new browser. Where is my new browser? Yeah, here. This is my app. This is my new browser which I have compiled. I have deleted my old browser. So let me go and install this now. ADB install and new browser right there you go it got installed as well now the only step which is remaining is i will have to go back to my browser folder and start browser there you go the browser started which is pretty good now let's try again to run the same content provider right um, Again, I'm doing it from the browser app, but let me try to run it again because earlier it did not work because we did not have certain permissions. This, the permissions were absent on the browser agent app. But now when I run this, right, you can see that I'm able to read the data. And this is nothing but the same data which I had actually entered over here. If you see, if I go back to settings, filters, you can see I've added two filters. One is like, you know, starts with four fours and the next one starts with three threes. And you can see the data over here right which means i was able to successfully read the data from a different app which is the c simple app i'm able to read the data from a c simple app from where right using what using the browser app right and uh, that's basically uh, uh, what i actually wanted to show you guys right so basically we tried to exploit we tried to exploit the uh, third party app um, you know that we, we tried to exploit the data which was stored in a c simple app but from where we try to do it from a browser agent which obviously is a different app so using this concept now you can uh, you can understand that any attack any uh, attacker's app you know can read the data from your app if, if the data is not uh, correctly 
um, you know um, the permissions for the data is not currently put in right so uh, that was a very interesting hack uh, which we performed and uh, uh, this was again a kind of like an advanced use case of using Drozer right uh, hope you guys liked it and uh, uh, continue you know hacking bye